Today, we'll be discussing LTE measurement events and their importance in network performance and handover procedures. We'll cover events A1 through A6 and B1 through B2, along with some essential calculations as per 3GPP standards. LTE measurement events play a crucial role in maintaining network performance and ensuring seamless handovers. These events help determine when to initiate handovers between cells or different radio access technologies, optimizing the user experience and network efficiency. Event A1. This event occurs when the signal strength or quality of the serving cell becomes better than a predefined threshold. It's used in intrafrequency handovers to indicate improved serving cell conditions, potentially eliminating the need for a handover. Event A2. Triggered when the serving cell's signal strength falls below a predefined threshold, it suggests deteriorating serving cell conditions, indicating a potential need for a handover. In interfrequency handovers, this event prompts the measurement of neighboring cells. Event A3 occurs when a neighboring cell's signal becomes offset better than the serving cell. Used in both intra and interfrequency handovers, it signifies improved conditions of the neighboring cell making it a potential handover target. Event A4, triggered in interfrequency handovers when a neighboring cell's signal strength or quality surpasses a predefined threshold, indicating superior conditions and a potential need for handover. Event A5, when the serving cell's signal becomes worse than threshold 1 and a neighboring cell's signal surpasses threshold 2, this event is triggered. It indicates degraded serving cell conditions while a neighboring cell offers better signal suggesting a handover. Event A6, specific to intrafrequency handovers with carrier aggregation, triggered when a neighboring cell becomes offset better than the serving cell. Introduced in release 10 for carrier aggregation, CA, event B1, used in inter-technology handovers, interrat, triggered when an interrat neighbor cell's signal surpasses a predefined threshold, indicating favorable conditions for a potential handover. Event B2, occurs when the serving cell's signal deteriorates below threshold 1 and an inter r neighbor's signal surpasses threshold 2, suggesting a potential handover due to better conditions in the inter at neighbor cell. Let's dive into some essential calculations and parameters as defined by three GPP standards, threshold settings. Predefined thresholds for events are crucial. For example, for event A3, the offset parameter determines the signal difference required to trigger the event. Hysteresis. This parameter helps prevent frequent handovers by setting a margin that the signal must exceed before a handover is considered. Time to trigger, TTT this defines the duration for which the event condition must be met before the event is triggered. For instance, if the signal strength exceeds the threshold for a specific TTT, the handover process initiates. RLF, radio link failure, reporting. The criteria for RLF reporting include signal strength measurements, and threshold comparisons to ensure accurate handover decisions and network performance. Let's consider some practical scenarios. Scenario 1. In an urban environment, event A2 is frequently triggered due to high building density causing signal degradation, leading to increased handovers to maintain call quality. Scenario 2. In a highway scenario, event A3 plays a crucial role as users move quickly between cells necessitating precise handover decisions to maintain seamless connectivity. Carrier aggregation example. With the introduction of event A6 in release 10, networks can efficiently manage multiple carriers, enhancing data throughput and user experience. Understanding LTE measurement events and their proper configuration is essential for optimizing network performance and ensuring seamless user experiences. By adhering to three GPP standards, Telecom engineers can effectively manage handovers and enhance overall network efficiency. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need further information, feel free to reach out.